there's something alien out there. What was it like kind of stomping around the Louisiana marshes with Adam Driver? Yeah, I definitely, stomping around the Louisiana marshes with Adam Driver. That is, needs to be on a shirt. Um, <laughs> it was, it was awesome. It was really, it was really challenging and, and exciting and I love challenges. So that was great. We definitely bonded through the fact that we were freezing the majority of the time and okay. we sweating and the blood that was like supposed to be fake like turned out was like real at the end of the day like we were just running around and just like doing what we needed to do um and i feel like because he was so committed to just like throwing himself at the ground like the second my 13 year old self saw him do that i was like okay i will do that too and i did and i kind of was just following him and, and observing what he does and it was so exciting for me to watch so yeah it was fun i wanted to know if you could just talk about like sort of where this idea came from yeah. and it was there was there any pressure after quiet place to really think of a high concept sci-fi <laughs> horror movie absolutely uh, i i mean i think in the wake of a quiet place you know this this idea for for 65 um was already gestating in our heads and instead of looking at like some of the the crazy opportunities that still make our heads spin of like trying to do something with lucasfilm or or doing sequels it was about going back into the writer's room and incubating something that would um, make the 11 year old versions of ourselves like giddy with joy. And as two kids that grew up loving Jurassic Park and anything with dinosaurs, 65 was really that, that opportunity that we kind of took and ran with to make something on a big scale, but still make it with, with a heart and, and with characters that, that you know the audience hopefully cares about. And once we had that core idea, this idea of a space traveler who crash lands on an alien planet and starts we the audience start to realize these are not aliens and this is not an alien planet this is earth and dinosaurs once he had that kernel of an idea uh there was nothing that could stop scott and i from writing it it, it poured out of us because it was just so fun it was just like oh dinosaur. Yeah. okay now there's got to be a raptor and we got to do a t-rex and you know it, just, it was a joy to a joy to, to to visualize and write well, this is a very short movie, which I appreciate, guys. <laughs> I, I had a lot of things to do yesterday. Um, but it, it, was there, was that something that was always, was it always this streamlined or did you sort of get rid of stuff in the post -produ production process? And was there anything that you wish was sort of still in there? Well, you know, the movie is streamlined kind of by design, you know, okay. it, even though it's a character movie, we also, you know, we want it to be a cinematic movie that feels like a roller coaster, a point A to point B film um you know and looking at some of the inspirations that we have a movie like gravity you know it's really contained and it's a thrill ride that doesn't really dwell on access so i think that was important to us as filmmakers but also audience goers we kind of like movies that are lean mean and 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 put it all on screen i'm just i hate what wow. i just said but that's, <laughs> that's the idea behind it <laughs> very nice rhyme yes um, as, I, like, as our attention spans uh, you know i think we all feel our attention spans constricting i think like i i love a good long movie but um but but i also like uh there's something nice about a short running time <laughs>